Um, it's been fantastic. Um, as one of the vloggers, um, I'm not particularly comfortable speaking in front of a big group of people, but it's good to put yourself out of uh, your comfort zone. Um, but also meeting such a wide variety of, of young people from all over Scotland, the UK and uh, from overseas as well. I think a big part of, you know, in this digital era that broadband's a really big problem. Um, where I live, we do have broadband. Um, it's not great. Um, so for those that don't have broadband full stop, um, I think it must be a humongous challenge for them, um, you know, because we use it for work, education, socialising, banking, um, it's, it's really important. So uh, we're already seeing um, the effects of, of digital banking, um, they're closing small branches, um, which in my opinion is isolating people, um, especially the elderly and people that don't either have um, access to transport or have very limited access um, because you know, that they can't you know, go and easily pay in the money or pay in their checks, you know, they either have to send it, which people don't like doing. And also, um, I myself prefer face-to-face -face interaction in the bank. Um, it's, it's difficult. I'm very passionate about climate change and circular economy and recycling and where I stay now we only have one bin. Um, it does get picked up weekly um, but the cottages at the end of the road from us don't have a bin at all uh, which I think is very strange. When I lived in a town um, we had four bins. Uh, we had one for uh, paper and cardboard, plastics and um, tins garden waste and food waste and then general household waste which was a much smaller bin of course then you're you know, greatly reducing your, um, your household waste which is fantastic. I think that people that live in the countryside have a really big part to play um, in, in recycling and you know, the fact that we're not given that opportunity um, it makes it much more difficult for us.